Here we've got some information for this firm. We've got L, which is the thousands of man hours per day, and Q is thousands of units of output per day. Let's go ahead and plot this on a graph. So on the horizontal axis, we're going to have our input, labor, and on the vertical axis, we're going to have the quantity or output or total product. So our first point is 0, 0, 6 and 30, 12 and 96, 18 and 162, 24 and 192, 30 and 150. If we connect the dots, this would be our production function. In this case, we have a single input labor giving us our output. Now this is a pretty typical shape for a production function, that first it increases as our input increases, and then our output decreases as our input increases. Well, let's examine this curve in a little more detail. We're going to break it down into some parts. So notice these two graphs. Both of them have a positive slope. So as labor increases, so does the quantity produced. However, the rate of the increase is different. So the graph on the left is increasing, but it's also getting steeper. So we might call that increasing at an increasing rate. In the graph on the right, it's still increasing, but it's getting flatter. So we might say that's increasing at a decreasing rate. Now, if your output is rising at an increasing rate, as your labor is rising, we call that increasing marginal returns to labor. So that would be exhibited here on the graph on the left. If output is increasing at a decreasing rate, as I'm using more labor, we call that diminishing marginal returns to labor. And that would be the graph on the right. Now, if your output is decreasing as your labor is rising, we call that diminishing total returns to labor. So looking back now at our original graph, let's see if we can identify the three different areas. Well, down here, we have our increasing marginal returns to labor. So we've got an upward slope, and it's also getting steeper. Then for a while, we've got diminishing marginal returns. So I'm still sloping up, but I'm starting to flatten out. Then there's a range where output is decreasing as I use more labor, and we call that diminishing total returns to labor.